I could just get your thoughts on what you thought the key to the outcome was today. I thought we didn't let up. I thought our uh, defense was aggressive and we continued to, to pound and pound and pound um, and, you know, step into the passing lanes and force them to take some bad shots. So our defense was really on point today. I, I wanted to ask you about the defense because I think yesterday uh, they scored 81 points. What was different today about the defense? Well, you, you know, we, we, you know, I went in and I told them I needed their feet to be quicker. So I needed their rotations to be much, much quicker. And they did that today. You know, when your rotations are quick and you're there to contest, they don't put the shots up. So we were quicker today with our feet. What was the general mood after yesterday's game? Um, I know you guys won, but still giving up 81 points is a little bit uncharacteristic for your defense. Yeah, and that's the thing we talked about was defense. Our defense, you know, keeping them out of the paint. We needed to shore that up. And today we were much better uh, at, at keeping them out of the paint. In that first half, uh, I think her name is Aaron Eady. She had 16 points, uh, but then I think after that, she only had two or four. What What did you guys do differently in that second half against her? Well, we had our post to, you know, to body her up a little bit and make her work for every shot. So, you know, she didn't get it easy in the second half. How comforting is it to know when you have someone like Kiana who scored 37 points tonight? She's just phenomenal. and. Uh, <laughs> She can score probably in her sleep. So you know, we like that. Of course, she scores within the flow of the game, doesn't hog the ball. She's a team player. And uh, it was good seeing her get a career high. Um, I want to ask you about Aaliyah and Siobhan as well, because I think they ended up in double figures as well. Can you talk about how they complement her and, and having that supporting cast? Yes, and they're very comfortable with each other. I mean, they're you know, they're kind of joined at the hip. They know each other's move, moves. They know where each other is going to be. And so it makes it easy for them to find each other and be the supporting cast for each other. What do you hope to take from this heading into Wednesday's game against James Madison? Well, we've got to be ready. And we've got to play some tough, tough defense as well. Um, I think this is a, a rematch of you guys had a game against them earlier in the month or last month. Yes, it's um, a makeup game. Yeah, how, how much has changed, you think, for your team since then, since that game? Well, you know, we've gotten, that was our first conference game, and so we've gotten some things that we've worked on defensively. We've gotten better at those, so hopefully that'll be the deciding factor on Wednesday. And last question, um, I mean, I know it's asked this earlier, but how, how, how does it feel for you to be back uh, with the team? It feels great. I mean, never thought I'd like the smell of the funky gym, but you know, I'm, I'm here and I love it. So, but I've loved being back with the girls. I think uh, it's exciting time for us. It's uh, we've got a great team and they're, you know, they're exciting to watch and it's good to be back. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Ed. What was the general mood after yesterday's game? I, mean, I know you guys won by nine points, but giving up 81 points is probably a little bit uncharacteristic of the team, right? Uh, yeah, we um we had talked yesterday about our defense. No, we had to pick our defense up today. Um, we only won by eight yesterday, I believe. How upsetting was it for you guys to give up 81 points? Or was it upsetting at all? What is, what is that? How upsetting was it to give up 81 points yesterday? I'm not going to say it was upsetting, but it was a little disappointment in ourselves as a collective group. Because mm -hmm. we know we can uh, be better defensively. So today, I mean, I think you, I think they only scored eight points in that third quarter. What did you guys do defensively against them? Oh, we just stayed solid. We um, talked again at halftime this time and, and knew that it was going to be a defensive game if we wanted to stop them on the offensive side. Yeah. In that third quarter, did it, what, did you, did it feel like that was sort of the team's best quarter of the season? Um, I'm not going to say that. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was fun, but... Um, <laughs> You know, we just we just came out here today and did what we had to do. Uh, we talked about it yesterday um, and earlier. We watched film this morning, so we knew that we had to come hard today. Mm -hmm. Jana, how does it feel to score a career high thirty seven points today? It feel good. It kind of feel normal. You know, my teammates helped me out a lot. Uh, they they encouraged me to continue to shoot the ball no matter what. So that's what I did today. At what point in the game did you realize you were reaching your career high? Uh. I think when I was at 27, Coach Rich said, go out and get at least 10 or 11 more. <laughs>
<laughs> what does it mean when you have a coach who says that to, to you? It's great. That means she she believes in her in her players. She let us play um our type of basketball. Yeah. And then um, I was wondering, obviously you play James Madison on Wednesday. Uh, you guys haven't played them since last month. I think they won the opening game. And mm -hmm. um, what is sort of the mindset or approach heading into that game against James Madison? We just got to be focused. We know James Madison is a great team. Uh, everyone got to lock in the next couple of days because it's going to be kind of a quick turnaround because we have an off day on Monday. So we just got to lock in and be focused. How much does it, you know, winning back to back, how much does that propel you into that matchup on Wednesday? Uh, we just we just got to keep going on the road. Uh, it's not it's not good losing, so we got to keep going on the road. I know we lost to James Madison by four, which was disappointing in us because uh, we was up majority of the game and we let the game kind of slip away in the end. Okay. All right, sounds great, Kiana. That's all the questions I have. Hey, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.